Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome to another episode of Patch Plays YOLO Edition. And this time around, we are looking at Death Road to Canada by Mad Garden and Rocket Cat Games. Now, what is Death Road to Canada? I'm sure you've seen it around. It's something which I've personally had my eye on for a long time. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I, I have a bit of a soft spot for zombie stuff in general, particularly zombie games, love zombie movies. Uh, could bore you to death with all the zombie films I've seen and all the terrible zombie films I've seen. Uh, but needless to say, this is something which, as I said, I've been looking forward to. And it recently came upon sale. I know it's had a big update recently. So I decided to take the plunge. And I've had a few goes. Haven't really got too far into it. Keep dying. But it is something which I find very entertaining. And I think would make a good couple of episodes on this channel. So here it is. What is it? Well, I suppose it is a more action oriented version of the Organ Trail, which is what I played back on Halloween of last year where we had that very long uh, video which I did. It's the same sort of setup, you're on a linear road, you're heading to Canada and with each individual incident which pops up they tend to be a lot more action orientated so rather than answering questions generally you are doing more stuff. That means you are killing a lot of zombies, coming across a lot of different people and well in my case in the very least dying a lot. So without further ado let's die shall we? We are going to be taking a new game in. I haven't bothered with any of the custom characters. It's something I might get into at some point. I might introduce a few of my subs in there or my, my regular talkers on the channel. But this time around, we'll just play it, uh, play it straight, shall we? Right, so first things first, we need to choose who we're going to play with. We've got Gaylord. He's a Gundineer, you know, with a mysterious past. Uh, and then who do we have for a buddy? Florence, who's a gun collector and is irritating. Now, I don't know a lot about the perks or the traits. There are certain perks which I, I sway to with basically whatever I've played with before. Neither of these are them. So let's find someone who we think might be good to at least get you know as far as we can. Uh, gun Collector, Carnut, Bandit, Martial Artist, Civilized, Surgeon, Healthcare, Friend of Dog, Carnut, Big Bruiser, Mechanic. Ultra Fit, I suppose Ultra Fit is good and inventive, that's not too bad. McKinley, you'll be my new Maruno. And then Florence, well, I don't know if perks matter so much with your, your buddy, it's more the trait, I think. Uh, Calm and Fire, Resilient, Inventive, or are we inventive? We're inventive. Warrior, with a Surgeon, that's good, because it means that they'll be able to heal us. So we'll go with Dory, who's a, a Warrior Surgeon supposedly and then we've got different game modes as you can see we've got the normal version here we've got familiar characters mode a rare characters mode which will be a separate video because i will be bringing more than one of these videos to the channel because i feel like i'll probably die a little bit soon and then as you can see there are other ones which we haven't opened up as of yet but i'm sure we will get around to so let's crack on McKinley hears rumours that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Punching a zombie with no weapon barely does anything besides making one let you go for a moment. So good to note, good to note. Let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. I'm sure I'm sure we'll grow. You know, we'll do trust exercises, fall into each other's arms, stuff like that. So where do we want to go to start off with? Generally, the first one is a little bit easier. So we've got the Yormart, a rest stop or house on the road. Supplies, I'm thinking. So rest stop which says to me that it might have food and fuel in as opposed to your mark which would be mainly food and medicine i suppose house on the road comes across as a bit of a all-rounder so fuel's important fuel's important uh one would argue that uh, medical is more important so let's do your mart the group spots an abandoned your mart off in the distance it looks like it's been looted but maybe there's some untouched loot inside so the swarm size is mild their aggression is sluggish and it's morning. Generally, from what I gather, they get a lot more aggressive the later on in the day it gets, up until the evening when they become sort of very, very crazy. So it's best to try and get as early as you can. Although I don't think you get much choice in the time. It's, it's quite random on when it happens. So uh, let, let's try this. So McKinley has a bit of wood, which isn't the best. Dory has a... Ooh. A meat cleaver. That's more useful. Hopefully we'll pick up some weapons on the way, so I won't worry too much about that for the time being. Oh, that's not very good. Thank you, Dory. Right, so let's go have a look-see. Yeah, you hit pretty hard. That's that's pretty cool. Let's get straight in there. 
Ooh, straight away we have found bullets. You can go. I said you can go down, sir. Thank you. A little bit of food. You've got a love t-shirt on. Oh, they really don't like that. Now, there's a few gripes I have with this game. One is you don't seem to turn that quick. And I have been trapped facing one direction when I'm trying to attack in the opposite. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time around. I'm take the umbrella. I don't think it's going to be much good, but even so. What have we got there? More bullets. Sabaganda. Ooh, jackpot. And a gun. Hey! That be mine. Thank you. You can have the uh, the wood. In fact, no. I'm going to keep the wood. You can have the umbrella. Mary Poppins. Right, so, is it worth destroying any of these? Pro probably not. Sometimes you find stuff in them. Oh, hell no. Get, get back. Get back. Do you want to pick up some wood? No, nope. okay, let's go. So, yeah, with this game, it's... Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to let you into a little secret. I have... I, stop it. I have actually recorded this already. And uh, I don't know if you've seen me playing March of the Living, which I think was the last patch plays I did. Uh, but I had a very good first episode. was progressing very, very well. And then, about two minutes into the second episode, I died. Completely out. Well, I, I like to think it's completely out of my uh, hand. Boom! Uh, but I'm not quite sure on that. But even so, uh, I was in the middle. Ooh. Nice. I was in the middle of recording... That's all we got. Uh, I was in the middle of recording this, and I, again, I had a fantastic first episode, and I went into this shop to loot, and I picked up what I can only presume would be like a, 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 a gas canister. Accidentally, I was actually looking at looting a fridge, and I threw the gas canister out the fridge, and I ended up actually blowing the entire party up. I had a full party, and we all died. So... Uh, yeah, that was the end of that. And I, I was thinking about it, and I rendered the video, and I was like, well, I can put it out. It'd be pretty funny to see me die like that. But I do really want to get a few more episodes out of this game, so I do really enjoy it. Have we done that here? I think we're done, aren't we? So, um, I've decided to re-record it, hence this. Don't know how this is going to go. I'm hoping better than the last time. Uh, but it was pretty action orientated. I think I had a, uh, a dog which was completely useless, and then started to shine towards the end and then well we all blew up anyway so it didn't matter too much get in boom so that's the first part done uh got a bit of food bit of fuel so everything but medicine but hey ho never mind i'm sure we'll be fine the group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit dory even finds an old-fashioned somewhat stale extra large pack of marshmallows Ooh. Let's eat the marshmallows. The group sets up camp and eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Nice. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? The group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation, just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? So we can have advice exchange or pep talk. Uh, pep talk, I presume, would allow us to see the morale of the people in the group or we might get a bit of a a, per, um, a a perk up on one of our skills if we did advice exchange let's do advice exchange we can link exchanges exchanges advice on different topics the friendly survivor is enlightened by the advice and gives some great tips of his own so McKinney's mechanical increases to mm, <laughs> Dory's medical increases which again is pretty cool I think she's good at that anyway I hope it doesn't rain it seems to irritate the zombies Good to note, good to note. The group spies a city from a distance. There's more dead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy, at least at first. So the swarm size is mild, which isn't too bad. Aggression sluggish. When driving into the city, the group spots something. So we can go to a furniture store or a strength and fitness gym. Well, if you were going to go into a city and you were going to loot a place, I'm sure there'd be better places to loot than a furniture store or a strength and fitness gym. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, we're going to go for strength and fitness. There might be some protein shakes in there or something. Uh, how are we set? You've got the umbrella. I've got the cleaver. We've both got cleavers. I've got a few bullets. Let's do this. 
Now the nice thing about this game is, although you do get to choose where you want to stop, there is generally always more than just that place to go and loot. So it makes for oh medical. Uh, generally, an interesting little roam around as long as you don't get swarmed, which uh, can be very easy. Or oh, is that something spray? Hey, that's funky. I'm going to keep hold of that. What's it called? Ouchie spray. I've never had that before. Ooh. Medicine. Medicine. Oh, this is the place of medicine. Can we just get around this guy? We don't have to kill him, you know. Just, that's it. Oh, well, okay. Take, take the odd punch. That's fine. With an umbrella. It's not going to hurt him. More bullets, which is awesome. It is very easy to get sidetracked, though. That's the only thing I've found in this game. You can come looking for the hospital or looking for the Yule Mart, and then, before you know it, you'll be sidetracked, like like I am here, <laughs> going into a certain place and uh, then getting overrun and dying. The only thing I haven't really got on top of is the, um, the sieges. Sieges are very difficult, I think. They're probably not really, if you know how to handle them, but I always seem to get trapped in a corner and you haven't got much chance to actually get out. Well, this is rubbish. Is there anything down there that's wor worth having a look at? I don't think so. No! Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's get out of here. There's plenty of houses on this map, thankfully, so we shall go look-see. That one's full. Oh, actually, this map's really small. Is there anything below us? No! Is this it? So we've been there. We went into there, didn't we? Turns it over here. There's uh, just the one, just the one. Okay, never mind. Ooh, spatula. Oh, cleaver. Uh, uh. So what ammo does that take? You keep hold of that. I'm taking one of those. And then you can have another cleaver. I like cleavers. Cleavers generally are very good. They don't seem to break. I don't think. Ammo in the in the oven. Yeah, that's that's great. Oh, cheeky. Uh, what we got over here? Chairs. Another door. Anything up here? Ooh, what be you? More medical. How do we go with you? Oh, bill of wood. Got wood. Don't need wood, got cleavers. Did I just take a hit then? Yep, okay, we're good here. Just move around, don't waste your energy. Oh, okay, that's out. She's a warrior. She is a warrior. Wowzer. Okay, let's do this quick. You, you. You. <laughs> you. She's all over it. There's no need for me to be here. to get that. Oh. oh, come on. Boop. All that for bullets. Not too bad. Not too bad. Can we loot you? No, you're just a table. That's that's all you are. Oh, we do have uh, the bottom of the bed. Oh. I think it all depends on how much stamina you guys want, how badly these guys get hit. You're a quick one. Oh, you're a dead one now. Or re-dead, I suppose it would be. That table didn't take too much, did it? Oh, another gun. Do we bother? We've, we've got one gun. Scissors. Do we want scissors? Um, so, does that mean you prefer the gun over the ouchie spray? Oh, we do have a magnum. It's only a pistol. Surely you don't want to keep that. Okay, well, I suppose we've got to go. It's lunchtime, you know, 10 past 12. There we go. Oh, we're getting big now. Just get in the car, damn it. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the. Go, 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 go. Boom. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. The gym was rubbish. That's the last time I go to a gym. 
well, yeah, both in real life and in game. So we, we have a, a bit more fuel, lots of medical, medical was good. The rest, yeah, all right, I suppose. Everyone's happy though, no one's injured. The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. They find a row of cans sitting on a wooden fence. Uh, let's shoot the cans, that'll help with our gunnage. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. So we've both got decent shooting now. Uh, a man in red long johns runs onto the field with a pitchfork. My cans, my precious antique cans. Oh, look what you've done to him. He shakes the pitchfork as he yells. McKinney's morale decreases. So shooting increases, morale decreases. That's fine. Um, doe or haw haw? Well, it is post-apocalyptic America. They are cans just on a fence. Haw haw. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Suddenly a giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's big. Super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making for a pretty sick ramp. So do you want to gun it, bail, or slam on the brakes? Let's gun it. McKinney grabs the wheel and pounds the gas pedal. The car bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. So we've got a moral increase, that's good. The car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Chunks of the car fly in various directions. It took a beating, but it's still running. Who's are? See, they know how to build these cars. I hate fighting at night, it's best to leave early. I concur, Dory. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, which, with preserved food being the new currency. You have 21 food left. The group runs into a trading camp. Oh, we'll go and have a look. Right, what, ha what do you have to sell? See, sometimes when it comes to a trading camp, you can find people to, uh, to actually recruit. So, The group runs into someone selling extra rifle ammo. She says she's frugal with ammo, often killing multiple zombies in one shop. Shop. Shot. She offers to give six rifle ammo per food item she gets. You have 21. No, we don't have a rifle, so that's fine. You look like a doctor. The group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. You have 21 food left. Six food for treatment? No, we're good. We're good. Anyone else want to rip me off? What do you got? The group meets a woman wearing oil stained coveralls. I can help you get better at repairing stuff. It's a real handy skill. Might save your life. A high mechanic skill lets you fix your car. You have 21 food left. Six food for training to fix the car. That's not bad. Although if you run out of fuel, that's not going to help you fix the car. We'll leave that for now. You never know who you're going to come across. We might find a mechanic. Uh, Bubba Buns. Can I buy something off you? Nope. Just bounce off you. What about you? Jolene is tired of being stuck in this camp. She will join you for a small fee of five food. Jolene claims to be experienced in medical matters. She spouts a bunch of medicalish jargon. Seems plausible. Uh, well, we've got our medic. Looks a bit like that chick. Oh, now she has a rusty machete. Okay. Good luck of Canada. Thank you. The group sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. 25? No, I'm good. I'm good. We'll just crack on. We don't need any of these. They're far too expensive. Now, one thing I don't know about is whether, as you go along further towards Canada, everything gets more expensive. That's not something I have noticed. But um, hopefully we'll, we'll get to see on this time round. The group is about to break into a small fortified grocery store, but then finds Ignatius ready living in, already living inside. He seems like a calm, clever person. I'm digging no shades. I'm digging no shades. Ignatius, welcome. Sure, I'll join. I was running out of food anyway. Ignatius is now part of the team. Ignatius brings along some food supplies. Bonus. Onward to Canada. So we've got some food. He's happy and he's pretty witty. Ignatius judges his character. His attitude's rubbish, and his loyalty's, yeah, okay. We can put his attitude off, that's fine, that's fine. We, at least we get to see everything that he is as a person. When a siege happens, you have to go all out, I think that's it, I don't know, I missed that bit. The group gets, oh, the group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert, there's no escape. Horde size is moderate, late afternoon, one hour. Well, thankfully, one hour isn't too long, so, uh, well, 
Let's shoot, shall we? Uh, Ignatius, what do you carry? You've got, what the hell is that? A frying pan. Okay, well, you can have a cleaver too. Because you never know. I don't know how long a, a frying pan's going to last, but if you need to swap out, you can do. Uh, you can stick with yours. You should be fine. We might find more in the siege as well. So go, run, run, run. Let's get into the uh, hut. See if there's... Ooh! Lots of stuff. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to get on top of this first. Let's, right, let's pick up the stuff first and then we'll look at the, all the lovely, lovely loot we've got. So get rid of you. Food, 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 food. Uh, lots and lots of food. Some people would argue it's probably not best to come into here, but I'd argue that, well, better than being stuck outside. Oh, oh, oh. Feel free, you know, whenever you want to join in. Right, so we've got a knife, uh, a blade. I could, we've, mm. we've got more butchery type things so that would be good what are you guys carrying so you carry that i will take that and then you can take that and i will take that the siege is over you can now try to escape happily uh there is quite a few around the door at the moment but i'll, I'll get around there oh we missed there i'm all out of puff do you guys want to, you know, defend me when I get, possibly get my, you know, when, whenever you're ready, there's no, there's no pressure, you know, it's not like we're being surrounded by zombies or anything. Oh, well, as it stands, there's none out here at all, they're all inside. Okay, let's go. Yes, we want to walk back to the road. So, we got seven food, uh, but more importantly, we got lots and lots of decent weapons, which is awesome. And we survived. I suppose that is a bonus too, in, in, in the grand scheme of things. So onwards. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. So we can have a morale and random skill gain. We can have shooting, medical, or Dari can have two strength. Hmm. So I'm always a bit funny about upgrading just one person because you never know when you're going to lose them. Uh, but I suppose this is a question we can ask in the next video. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.